Thank you very much. Um, I just wanted to share briefly uh, my experience with uh, modeling uh, geospatial prediction models with multiple sensor predictors. And this, this fits roughly into a domain um, in, in industry and in research and development that is known as geospatial data science. And multiple sensor integration within these models is growing rapidly in, in, in industry. Geographic information science, um, I believe, was fundamental to my understanding um, of, of putting together a, a very robust model that actually made good sense um, for people uh, that wanted to look at the results. Um, so I was lucky to have mentors that were physical and biological scientists. So having a good grasp on the, on the data input inputs um, that you're using in your model uh, is very important. Um, my background was in forest science and management, so I had a good background in field work, and that, that came into play somewhat. Um, Dr. John Gallo was my initial mentor in spatial sciences, and he was a graduate of UC Santa Barbara, um, so I just wanted to make a shout out for him. He was very helpful. In after I finished my thesis research, I published an article in 2021 with my advisor at San Francisco State. Uh, modeling uh, insulation with digital elevation models and a solar model, uh, multispectral imagery and LIDAR point cloud metrics um, to predict biological phenomenon in a forest. And as you could see on the lower left, we looked at area solar radiation, leaf area index, canopy height, and total vegetation density, uh, among others. Um, we And each of those comes from different sensors. We came up with a model um, that integrated canopy relief ratio, total heights, and total vegetation density to look at forms of to look at forms of a species diversity, uh, choosing ultimately on MDI. Um, the graph in the upper left uh, shows how we brought the actual data together for the model. So, in addition to a multiple re multiple linear regression model, we perform spatial statistics on clustering statistics on the findings as well. My research affiliation for this work was at SF State. I'm Dr. Leonard Blessius, Dr. Andrew Oliphant, and Chad Hansen from John Muir Project uh, came in to help um, on forest ecology. However, I see an industry that artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, is, is rapidly evolving and that especially newer techniques and newer methods of computing will allow us to, to use multiple sensor modeling uh, in, in faster and more innovative ways than we have in the past, especially with regards to epidemiology spatial econometrics and geointelligence, among other things. And then just one final shout out to uh, the people that helped me get to this point. Just wanna thank them very much.